Hey, Malcolm Reed here from How to Barbecue Right. Today I'm hanging out at Mossy Oak here in West Point. I'm cooking some wild boar ribs we got from Mossy Oak Gamekeeper Butchery. Excited to cook these, it's gonna be fantastic. Let me show you how I do it. So I've got four racks of these wild boar ribs today. These are actually the spare rib off a of wild boar. They're a little thin. It's different than your traditional supermarket pork, but they've got some fantastic flavor. First thing we're gonna do to them is get a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic on them. I've got my AP seasoning, but you could use just regular salt, pepper, garlic. We wanna get it on all sides of these slabs of ribs. Start with the bone side first. We're just gonna give them a light coating. The salt, pepper, garlic's gonna wake up the flavor. We're gonna give it a few minutes to work into the meat. You don't have to go real heavy with it. It. it's kind of like a dry marinade. It's gonna need about 15 to 30 minutes to sit here on the board to sweat. You wanna make sure you get both sides covered with them. That looks perfect to me. We're just gonna let these hang out right here on the cutting board, go fire up the grill. So I'm gonna cook these wild boar ribs on a Royal Oak drum smoker today. Starting with some good lump charcoal. We got a couple tumbleweeds in there. You wanna open up the vents 100% so we can build a bed of coal. As soon as they get ashed over a little bit, we're gonna check those vents back. We're gonna put some apple wood chunks on there to give us some good smoke flavor. We're gonna run this drum about 275 degrees today. All right, after these ribs have set for about 15 minutes, you can kind of tell the moisture's starting to pull out of them. That's exactly what I want to see. It's kind of dry brining them, like I said. So we're going to hit them with our barbecue rub now. And I've just got my Killer Hogs the barbecue rub. You can use your favorite rub on these wild boar ribs. We're just going for that traditional barbecue flavor. Then we're going to get them in some apple smoke. And we're not going heavy. Everything's kind of a light to a medium coat. You don't want to cake the seasoning on. We want to build a bark on it, but we want the flavor of this wild boar to shine. That's what's so special about it. It's got a real rich, real meaty flavors delicious pork flavor the way god intended it already looking good we're just gonna let them sit here on the cutting board while that drum smoker comes up to temp so the drum's sitting right where i want it you see that apple wood smoke we got coming out we're ready to get these ribs on we're just gonna place them right on the grate and just kind of bunch them up just a little bit. Since these ribs are thin, they're only gonna smoke about an hour, then we're gonna wrap them and get them tender. So these wild boar ribs have been on about one hour. The color on them is looking right where I want it. We've got the bark set. They look good on both sides. This is where we wanna wrap them and get them tender. All right, to wrap these ribs, it's super simple. I just tore off a piece of aluminum foil. We're gonna take some regular butter. What about three little pats? per slab of ribs. We need that extra fat in here. This wild boar's lean. It's got some sweet Thai chili sauce. You could pretty much put whatever you want in the wrap. I like the spiciness of the sweet Thai chili. It's gonna go great with that applewood smoke and those rubs. We're just gonna go meat side down on top of the butter. Put a little bit extra sweet Thai chili on top. It's gonna melt, it's gonna run down, it's gonna caramelize. To wrap them, it's super easy. And then fold the ends up to the top so we can get back in them and check for doneness. We're going meat down, right back on the grate. Don't walk away too far as we don't want to overcook them. So these ribs have been on about 45 minutes. This is the point where I want to get my thermal pin and check them. Right away, I've got good drawback. Butter's melted, it's sizzling in there. Oh yeah, that one's soft, a little smaller rack. We're ready to glaze. I love that drawback, that is beautiful. So to glaze, I've just taken some barbecue sauce. I've got my vinegar sauce, my regular the barbecue sauce. You can use any kind of barbecue sauce you like. Use your favorite on these. This is just a 50-50 blend. And we're just going to baste the back side of these ribs. Then we're going to flip them over and do the same thing to the meat side. Got that nice bark. The rubs cooked down in it. That's the money side right there. The ribs have gotten tender. We're just going to glaze this top side. Ooh, that's probably going to be my slab. It looks right. And we're going to take this rack right back to the pit. We're just going to set the rack and all right back on the pit here. It's only going to take 10, 15 minutes for this sauce to glaze, caramelize down. We're not trying to get them any more cooked. The ribs are done. We just want to set that sauce and close the lid. Don't walk away. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Check it out. The mahogany color to the top, sizzling. The sauce is caramelized a little bit. It's exactly how I like to eat my ribs. And this is what they're supposed to look like. I mean, we've got drawback. Got beautiful color. You can see the smoke ring on it. Applewood did its job. They're cooked perfect. They still got a lot of moisture to them. So you know I gotta try one. I'm just gonna take that bone out, and get right in here on it. It's rich, got a ton of flavor. Tastes different than your standard pork ribs. Mighty good eating. If you like cooking wild game, you gotta give this one a try. Go check out the folks over at Mossy Oak Gamekeeper Butchery. They can get you fixed up. We'll see y'all next time. Damn, that's a good eating rib, son. Ain't nothing wrong with that.